He is known for his significant contributions to the field of mathematics, particularly in the theory of functions, now known as complex analysis. He founded and served as editor of Acta Mathematica, a highly influential mathematical periodical, for four decades. He played a crucial role in advocating for the recognition and equal awarding of Marie Curie's contributions to the discoveries on radiation phenomena. His name is Gosta Mittagleffler. In the world of mathematics, there is one name that stands out, Gosta Mittagleffler, a legendary Swedish mathematician. Known for his contributions to the field of complex analysis, Mittagleffler's work in the theory of functions is unparalleled. He not only made groundbreaking discoveries but also played a significant role in shaping the mathematical community. One of Mittagleffler's most notable achievements was his establishment of Acta Mathematica, a prestigious mathematical periodical. For an impressive 40 years, he served as its editor, providing a platform for mathematicians worldwide to share their research and ideas. His dedication to promoting mathematical knowledge and fostering collaboration has left a lasting impact on the field. But Mittagleffler's influence extended beyond his own work. He was instrumental in securing Sofia Kovalovskia, a brilliant mathematician, a position as a full professor at Stockholm University. His efforts to champion her talent and advocate for gender equality in the academic world were truly remarkable. In the late 19th century, Gosta Mittagleffler, a brilliant mathematician, had a revolutionary idea. He wanted to create a journal that would bring together the brightest minds in mathematics from all corners of the world. And so, in 1882, Mittagleffler founded Acta Mathematica, a groundbreaking publication that would become the pinnacle of mathematical research. Mittagleffler believed that mathematics was not just a science, but the science of pure thought, the foundation of all other scientific disciplines. He saw Acta Mathematica as a platform to showcase the best works of the finest scientists, fostering collaboration and advancing the field of mathematics. To kickstart the journal, Mittagleffler reached out to his former teacher, Charles Hermite, who introduced him to other eminent mathematicians like Paul Appel, Emile Picard, and Henri Poincaré. Mittagleffler offered Poincaré help with editing and promised fast publication of his manuscript on Fuchsian groups, which would serve as the foundation for the inaugural issue. Determined to make Acta Mathematica a success, Mittagleffler embarked on a journey across Europe during his honeymoon. He personally convinced numerous mathematicians to contribute their work to the journal, ensuring a constant flow of high-quality articles. However, such an ambitious project required substantial funding. Mittagleffler, with the support of his wife Signa and the assistance of King Oscar, successfully secured the necessary financial backing. On December 12, 1882, King Oscar became the first subscriber who received the very first copy of Acta Mathematica. In just a few years, the publication became self-sustaining and soon gained a reputation as the most prestigious mathematical research journal in the world. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.